so the poppy can take it away, cut into portions, and it's all ready for you to use. So can I invite our special guest, Mark Cummings, to come and join me and wrap hold of half of the knife. It's a big one. Okay. And um, help us to cut the... Uh, um, the cake. Which way? Don't do it too quickly. Don't get married, Mark. Shall I just pretend? I'll tell you what. Final one. Yeah. Okay. Dual purpose cutting the cake. Good. Come on, Don't put the video. To, to Gloucestershire and three laps around it was ready to settle down and uh, the first thing that connected me to Gloucestershire was a lovely man, a professional scallywag, no longer with us, a man called Peter Arnold that many of you know. Uh, Peter in England's glory pub said you're joining the courtly of Bart St Mary because in those days I did a bit of uh, amateur magic 
He may be murmuring the magicians to put me to Barton St Mary. And I've made many beers disappear in one eye chat. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I just felt so connected straight away. And that's when me and my wife Jo decided to, to settle, have the kids, buy the house, and settle in Gloucester. But the, the, the welcome in Gloucester was. No one's from Cheltenham here, are they? <laughs> 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 Something about the city that reminds me of my northern roots and the down to earth nature and the fact that everyone just takes the mickey out of authority, which is slightly what I'm supposed to do in the show as well. And um, taking people down the gate streets with, with Hugh Worsner and listeners who've lived in the city all their life who did the thing called Look Up and Learn Tour, and you tell them that the sword is not three dimensional, or the history of Jamie Wood or W.E. Henry, and you show them bits that they've never seen before. It's one of the greatest joys I get on the radio. Hosting things in the cathedral, after the floods, and many nights at the cathedral, in the shed, in the shed for all the home games. Um, all the things that you get to do in this amazing city. That's why I work here every day, so this is why it's just got into me. Being mock mayor was fantastic. The funniest thing was the night I was made mock mayor at One Eyed Jacks on the Wednesday night. Got absolutely trolled, stayed in the city, went into work, and a very well-known local politician who we've been chasing for ages who had to be interviewed about something or other, I think it might be an incinerator, came in to be interviewed with a holding to account interview and I was the mock mayor with the biggest hangover in the world <laughs> trying to ask him about redacted statements. Anyway, it's a long story. Um, and that was that year being the mock mayor, doing tug of war in front of the shed and taking the message from Barton Street around all the other Bartons in Gloucestershire was, I'll never forget it. it. Also being on that zip wire as the mock mayor mm -hmm. with uh, Charlie Sharples and some other people, it's just brilliant. And funny, just finally walking down past the Dick Whittington pub made me laugh, because just before I took on the breakfast show, um, we did a, we walked to London, I walked to London dressed as Dick Whittington to tell the Dick Whittington story, um, which was such an amazing story. So over nine days we walked from Portland Court to London, and a lot of the Gloucester lot came with me, Paul James was there for a bit, Alan Meyer, a load of others. But on the first day we walked from Portland Court to, and we stopped at Dick Whittington pub and the idea was at half six we'd be live on BBC Prince West and I'd be there just as Dick Whittington and all those <laughs> professional scallywags in fast, fancy dress who were walking with me would be behind me. Um, and we'd do a live thing into Points West where I was describing the route. Problem was we got absolutely trolled in the afternoon and we were all all over the place and I had to do a live bit with all the women in the background, Alan Myatt shouting vague obscenities, everyone pull, pulling at my hat whilst I was trying to stay professional. And it just made me laugh walking back to Dick Whittington. To me that's Gloucester for you. Um, city absolutely love and we'll stay in and be in the shed and love this city so much. Still part of the Port Region. Thank you for the honour of making me part of your team because it does mean a lot to me. So, Thank you very, very much indeed.